हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर गुड नाउ सी यर अवर टूडेज आई होप यूर टूडेज पेपर वॉज गुड बिकॉज अवर टॉपिक इज वॉट केमिकल कैनेटिक्स ऑन दैट केमिकल कैनेटिक्स सो बेसिकली दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट केमिकल कैनेटिक्स ओके इन दैट यू सॉ वॉट एवरेज एंड इंटेस्टेनियस प्रोसेसिस ओके then you saw a zero order first order second order reaction with their units okay these are all uh, what are points are important then uh, you discuss uh, whatever integrated rate equation for zero order first order then second order with respect to what half life period also uh, then you discuss uh, what whatever collision uh, theory okay then uh, energy of activation okay. so these all are very very much important whatever content of this topic so in that in this topic you must know whatever uh, formulas all that formulas from uh, rate constant k okay then uh, whatever first order reaction in uh, gas phase whatever that for formula for first order reaction in gas phase it is also very much important okay so numerical uh, will ask from that also now uh, whatever our today's class a 2 jwa major test paper discussion okay so we will start now see here question number 26 okay carefully say this if the concentration of reactants is increase the rate of reaction okay so rate of reaction is what it is directly proportional so beta greater the concentration of reactant then faster is the reaction okay means what if the concentration of reactant is increased the rate of reaction also increases so your option is what question number 26 here okay question number 26 option is what beta b understood uh, whatever your rate of reaction is increases now we will discuss next question that is uh, question number 27 so see here question number uh, 27 uh, what is in that for a given reaction 3a plus b that gives that gives c plus d the rate of reaction can be represented by very very much simple this 3a okay plus b that gives what beta c plus d so here as you know it is a reactant and these are product so concentration of reactant goes on decreases so how we can write this 1 upon minus 1 upon 3 minus y because concentration of this reactant decreases with change in time so like this okay da by dt okay is equal to what beta yes minus b of okay like this minus b of dt because these are reactant is equal to what yes simply plus so concentration of say with respect to time and here also what beta concentration of d with respect to time so here option is what beta yes your option is here a option understood option is a so for question number 27 uh, understood now we will say whatever question number 28 now see uh, whatever in uh, question number 28 see the decomposition of ammonia on platinum surface okay the decomposition of ammonia on platinum surface so they give uh, here reaction to nh3 gaseous decomposition the platinum surface that gives what beta yes n2 gaseous plus 3h2 gaseous okay it's a zero order reaction so always uh, keep in mind whenever reaction in the presence of catalyst so it is what zero order reaction so uh, it is in present in our ncert also ncert part 1 chemical kinetics zero order reaction this only example they give there okay zero order reaction with k is equal to so beta here the k value they give here so see k value how much 
2.5 into 10 raised to minus 4. Okay. Mole per second. What are the rate of production of N2 and H2? What are the rate of production of N2 and H2? So, what are the rate of production of N2 and H2? Here we want. Okay. So, simply here, uh, how we can write uh, here rate with respect to this reaction? Okay. So, see here like this. Uh, minus, yes, minus 1 by 2. Okay. So, here minus 1 by 2. What will happen? D of NH3 divided by DT is equal to, yes, what will happen, beta? D of D of N2 divided by what? DT and here what? Yes, 1 by 3. 1 by 3, what? Yes, D of H2 divided by what? DT. Understood this much? So, rate of production of N2. So, here, rate of production of N2, what will happen here? So, see, D of N2. So, listen carefully here. D of N2, how we can you calculate here? So, uh, we need uh, to rub this because uh, we need uh, space here. So, see, I hope you uh, wrote all that things. Now, see, D of N2, D of N2 by DT, how much? Yes, so they give here directly concentration, how much? Okay, 2.5 into 10 is to minus 4 molar, mole second inverse, okay. Now, so this answer will come as it is because no here any uh, stoichiometric coefficient in your reaction also, okay. So, beta, these are what rate of production of N2. So, here rate of production rate of production of h2 what will come yes they already give 1 by 3 d of h2 with respect to time how much here 2.5 into 10 is to minus 4 mole second inverse okay so beta here what will come yes here what will come d of h2 divided by dt is equal to 3 into here divide so here multiply 2.5 into 10 is to minus 4. So, what your answer will come? Yes, 7.5 into 10 is to minus 4. Okay. So, beta here option is what your? A. Understood? 28 option is what? A. That is 7.5 into 10 is to minus 4. Understood? So, these are what your? calculation part so these are uh, simply simple uh, questions whatever here this thing you must know okay so now see here uh, we will discuss uh, next also question number 29 so say question number 29 okay so in question number 29 what they ask an increase in the temperature by 10 degrees celsius Generally increase the rate of reaction by. Okay, it is also in CRT statement. If you read this thoroughly, increase the rate of reaction by two times. Okay, increase the rate of reaction by two times. So your option is what beta? Yes, your option is A here. Okay, so now we will discuss more towards next question number 30. So see here uh, what they will ask. For the reaction, 2 into 5 gaseous that gives 4 into 2 gaseous plus O2 gaseous. If concentration of NO2 in 100 second is increased by 5.2 into 10 to minus 3 mole, the rate of reaction will be okay. So, beta, what uh, we want concentration of NO2 in 100 second, if it is increased by 5.2 into 10 to minus 3 mole, then the rate of reaction will be okay. So, see here, so see uh, whatever reaction they give, like this reaction they give, 2 into 5, okay, gaseous, that gives what, 4 into 2 plus O2 gaseous, okay, so we, we want concentration of NO2, so how we can write for NO2, yes, it is a product, so plus only will come, okay, so 1 by 4, Yes, D of NO2 with respect to time dt. 
So what will come? This concentration they give. Yes, concentration is increased by 5.2 into 10 to minus 3. Yes, so 1 by 4 into yes, 5.2 into 10 is to minus 3 divided by time 100 seconds. So you will get answer easily. 1 by 4 how much 0 0.25 into this. Yes, you will get A option that is 1.3 into 10 is to minus 3 mole second inverse. Okay, this thing, uh, sorry, minus 5, 1.3 into 10 is to minus 5. Okay, so small a, your option is correct here. Small a. Okay, you have to write this all. Okay, and you have to do calculation. Now see, we will discuss here next question, that is question number, yes, question number 31. Ready? So see question number 31. Which of these does not influence the rate of reaction? Does not influence the rate of reaction. Okay. Yes, your small d. Nature of reactant. Yes, it will affect concentration of the reactant. Temperature of the reaction also it will affect. So what better? Yes, D. Molecularity of reaction. Molecular Molecularity of reaction does not influence okay, the rate of reaction. Okay. So these are very much important. So basically these are what? Uh, if you read thoroughly this NCID then you will get. Okay. Now say uh, next our question number 32. So ready with this question number 32. See here the rate law for reaction A plus 2B reversible with C plus 2D. Okay, it will be. So rate law for the reaction is very, very much simple here. Okay, so see here whatever this uh, option, whatever this option here, rate law for reaction A plus 2B. Say A plus to B, how we can write this? Okay. A plus to B reversible with what better? C plus 2D. The rate law. So see what will become rate is equal to yes, concentration of A. Concentration of A and what? B raised to square. Because what your stoichiometric coefficient is 2. Understood? So your which your option? Option C is correct. Okay, 32 C. Now we will discuss here question number. Yes, question number 33. Okay, so see here question number 33. Which of the following is the first order reaction? So see small a NH4 NO2 that gives N2 plus twice H2. Small b HI hydroid, but that 2 HI is there. C2NO2 is there and D2NO plus O2 means first order reaction is what your small a only whatever your option is what small a because NH4NO2 that gives what N2 plus 2H2 here one only reactant one only reactant that's why what first order reaction so question number 33 is what first order reaction okay now uh, next question number 34, say here question number 34. So carefully see this question number 34. In a first order reaction, the concentration of reactant decreases from 800 mole per dm cube to 50 mole per dm cube is 2 into 10 to 2 second. The rate constant, the rate, rate constant of reaction in second inverse. So rate constant means what? K, K here we have to calculate. Okay. So whatever our react, whatever our formula first for first order rate constant. So that first order rate constant we can write like this also. K is equal to 2.303 by T into log of concentration of A naught divided by concentration of A at time T. Like that also we can write. Or 
whatever our formula we can write in this fashion k is equal to 2.303 by t into log of constant of a divided by a minus x okay now see here whatever reactant decreases from 800 mole to 50 mole means here whatever changes we can write directly okay so say how we can write this k is equal to 2.303 so whatever time they give yes 2 into 10 is to 2 okay so log log what beta 800 divided by 50 okay so this 0 0 will cancel so here what will come okay so say here what will come yes k is equal to 2.303 by 2 into 10 is to 2 log okay so log 16 here will come then we have to solve this 2.303 into 10 is to 2 log 16 how can we write 2 is to 4 okay what beta here log 2 is to 4 log 2 is to 4 then k is equal to 2.303 By two into ten is two. So what will form? Come four into log two. Then two point three not three divided by two into ten is two two into four into log two. This thing you know log two how much zero point three zero one zero. Then after solving this, you will get answer easily. And how much it is? Yes, your option is what? Say one point one point three. Okay. 1.386 into 10 is to minus 2. K how much? 1.386 into into 10 is to minus 2. Or you will get answer like this 0.01386. Okay, it is your answer of question number 34. I hope you understood this. Okay, now see here. Whatever next question number 35. So, see here question number thirty-five. Okay. In question number thirty-five, the reaction in two O five. So whatever they give in two O five in solution in what in CCL four solution, carbon tetrachloride solution. So that gives what they give reaction two N O two. In solution form, plus what half O2 gases, half O2 gases. It is of what? Yes, it is. It is of first order reaction. Okay, in into O5 with the rate constant. So rate constant they gave means K they gave with the rate constant K how much? 6.2 into 10 is to minus one second inverse. Then what is the value of rate of reaction when? What is the value of rate of reaction when? Your concentration of NO two five is equal to one point two five mole liter inverse mole liter inverse. Okay, so very much this thing AC. Okay, so basically they gave here a whatever uh, this reaction is of first order. So simply we have to write like this. Rate is equal to K concentration of what into five. So K they gave this uh, K they gave and concentration of into five also they gave. So rate of reaction how much? The rate is equal to whatever this K six point two into ten is to minus one second inverse into what one point two five. So after solving you will get easy your answer. K say how much? Seven point seventy five into ten is two. What minus one here you will get? Mole liter inverse second inverse. This unit also very much important. Okay, in theory exam, subjective exam, whatever your unit is very much important. Otherwise your half mark will deducted. Okay. So your option is what beta here? Small a. Okay, so now we will discuss question number thirty-six. 
ready with this question number 36 see so in uh, question number 36 question number 36 what they give here okay so in question number 36 a reaction that is of first order with respect to reactant A has a rate constant 6 minute inverse. If we start with concentration of A is equal to 0.5 mole liter inverse, when will A reach the value of 0 0.05 mole inverse? Okay. So, question number 36. Again, you have to say in formula what? First order. So, for first order, beta K is equal to what? Yes, K is equal to now only I told. 2.303 upon t log of a divided by a minus x. So, whatever decrease, if you start with a, then when will a reach the value of 0 0.05? So, very much important or very much easy here. Okay. Now, see. Whatever you we want here, how much time? So T here we have to calculate. Okay, so I think here K they give. Okay. Yes, rate constant 6 minute inverse they give. Okay, so say here T is equal to simply T is equal to what beta? 2.303. T is equal to 2.303.6 log of how much first there? 0. Point Yes, first 0 0.5, then they reach value 0 0.05. So 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.05. So T is equal to what will come? Yes, 2.303 by 6 log. Yes, after solving this, you will get log 10. So log 10, 1 ke barabar. So you will get answer how much here? 0 0.384 minute after solving this yes after solving this understood so these are what directly whatever your formula based questions okay just uh, need of uh, concentration to attempt it, such type of numericals okay so now we will discuss question number 37 ready with this say here question number 37 the hydrolysis of ethyl acetate is a reaction of hydrolysis of ethyl acetate okay so ethyl acetate hydrolysis to give what acid plus alcohol this thing you know it is in our uh, 10 standard also reaction okay so as you know these are what you suppose here two reactants are there Okay, whatever these uh, two reactants, CH3, COO, AT plus H2 hydrolysis, that gives what? CH3, COO, H plus what? Yes, ATOH. They gave here H2, means uh, two reactants are there. So, any student will write this second order, but not it is. It is what? Beta first order because it is pseudo first order. Whatever concentration of this reaction depends on this only one reactant. Okay. So these are what here? First order reaction. Understood? First order reaction. So here option is what beta? Small a. Okay. Question number 37. So ready with question number 38. Yes, so say question number 38. Okay, so what they gave in question number 38? Question number 38 half life period T half for first order reaction is yes, 2.303 into log 2 divided by what simply K. So after solving this, we will get like this 0 0.693 upon K. It is what your T half. So your option is what beta? C option. C option is correct here. 
it is inserted directly from NCRT. Okay, then uh, 39. The half life period for the first order reaction is 100 seconds. The rate constant for the reaction. Okay, so, the, so see here the rate constant for the reaction. Okay, so as you know, K is equal to what beta 0 0.693 divided by T half. Okay, so 0 0.693, what you will get? 0 0.693 T half they gave, yes, 100 second. 100 second they gave, so your answer also in what? 100 second only. So you will get what? Yes, A option, that is after solving this. 6.93 to 10 is to minus 3, you will get option A. Okay, here option what beta? A is correct here. Understood? So, 6.93 to 10 is to minus 3, second. Okay. So, uh, we will discuss next question number 40. 40. Okay. So, see here in question number 40. For a first order reaction, the half life period is independent of for a first order reaction, the half life period is independent of initial concentration. It also NCRT, NCRT statement. Small a, what beta? Yes, initial concentration. Okay. So uh, now we will discuss next question number forty one. Okay, so C41, the rate constant is doubled when the temperature increases from 27 degrees Celsius, 27 degrees Celsius to 37 degrees Celsius. Then activation energy in kilojoule they want. First, whatever our answer will come, it is in a joule. Next in kilojoule we want. So option they gave here 34, 54, 150. So here first, you know, you must know what is the formula for energy of activation. So see energy of activation, uh, how we can write here formula. Say so here, log K2 by K1 is equal to Ea 2.303R. Okay. Then here what we done? T2 minus T1 divided by what? T1 into T2. So this formula you must know log k2 by k1 is equal to ea divided by 2.303 r okay r is what in joule 8.314 then d2 minus the everything is here they give temperature it doubled so see rate of constant when the temperature increases from 27 degrees celsius to 37 degrees celsius okay so here rate constant they give so it is what beta double so here you can write log 2 Okay, so log 2, what will come? Ea divided by what? 2.303 R. T2, how much? In Kelvin here we want. Okay, so 37 plus 273. Yes, you will get how much? 310 T2 and 300 divided by what? 300 into 310. Okay. So now see here, after what we have to discuss, Ea we have to calculate, okay, so see, Ea is equal to what will come, yes, Ea is equal to, say, log 2, 0 0.3010, we can write directly, into 2.303, into what, 8.314, okay, 8.314 into what whatever your yes calculation part this thing now what will happen reverse so 9 3 triple 0 divided by what beta here t2 minus t1 10 t2 minus t1 here what 10 okay so after solving this whole you will get answer something in like this 5 3 859.0 joule so ea whatever ea is equal to what kilojoule so after 
टू डिजिट फिफ्टी थ्री पॉइंट एट फाइव नाइन किलो सो वी डन कैलकुलेशन ऑफ ई ए सो बी ऑप्शन हियर इज करेक्ट फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी वन ओके सो नाउ वी विल डिस्कस हियर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी टू ओके सो सी क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी टू इन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी टू इफ थ्री ए दैट गिव टू बी इफ थ्री ए दैट गिव वॉट टू बी then the rate of reaction of plus yes plus db with respect to dt okay so obviously what will come yes because it is your what minus so like this minus 1 by 3 of d of concentration of a of dt is equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 d with respect to concentration of b into time so plus db of dt is equal to what minus 2 by 3 of what will come da by dt da by dt okay so your option is what c option minus 2 by 3 so here 42 your option is what c understood so next we will discuss question number 43 so see here question number 43 say if you plot a graph between log k and 1 by t by arrhenius equation the slope is okay so they want a slope so your graph nature is like this so this your what log k okay if you uh, refer notes correctly then directly you will get answer of this log so like that your slope okay this is what your graph and here your slope you will get okay it is what beta minus a divided by 2.303 r minus okay so it is a graph of your arrhenius equation so it it is this present in your uh, whatever J W notes also, sir gave directly this, okay, with this graph. So one by D means with this graph is what our energy of activation that uh, whatever we derive formula on the basis of this graph. Now see here question number forty four, okay, forty four. The differential rate rate law for the reaction. H two plus I two reversible with two H I. So see here they gave simply that is your small a option. Now this thing you know whatever concentration of reactant goes on decreasing that's a minus sign and concentration product increases that's a what plus sign. Okay, so your option A is correct here. Forty four. Now forty five question. Question number forty-five. Say, question number forty-five. Activation energy of chemical reaction can be determined by changing concentration of reactant, evaluating the rate constant at standard temperature, not. So C option. Whatever evaluating the rate constant at two different temperature. Rate constant, as you know, energy of activation log K two by K one we are taking. Log K two by K one is equal to what? E two by two point three not three R. T two minus T one divided by what? T one into T two. Okay, so your forty five options were with us C. So now it's time to calculate our last five questions. That is integer type questions. Okay, so that we will say whatever our integer type questions. Okay. Yes, say integer type. Questions. Okay, in integer type questions, say here, for which order reaction is a straight line is obtained along with the x-axis by plotting graph between half-life 
and initial concentration of A. So obviously it is what beta question number 45. Your first order reaction. First order reaction. So nature of this graph like this. Nature of the graph. Okay. Understood? Nature of graph. Now see. Sorry, here question number 46. 46. Okay. So see here question number 47. A first order reaction is 20% complete in 10 minutes and calculate the time for 75 completion of the reaction. Okay. So this question also very much important. First order reaction. So first order reaction. Okay. 20% complete. So 20% complete means how much remain? 80. Okay. And uh, how much? 75% complete means how much remain? 25. Means 80 and 25 more for two different what temperatures. Okay. Now see here. Suppose the initial concentration you are, we, we are taking how much? Yes, 100 mole. Obviously uh, we are taking. So as you know our formula. So what beta? So here we have to calculate, calculate half life, sorry, calculate the time. So T here we have to calculate. So our formula becomes like this. T is equal to what? Yes. Here, how we can write? T is equal to 2.303 by K into log of A divided by A minus X. So A is what? Initial mole of 100 mole. Okay, so for 20%, how we can write, Bida? For 20%, how we can write? So, 10 minutes, they gave here 10 minutes. So, 10 is equal to what? 2.303 by K log of, yes, 100 divided by 20% complete, how much remain? 80. Then, here we can write. For say for 75 percent completion, now we can write. See here, for 75 percent completion, yes, like this. T of 75, 2.303. Okay. So at that time they give here what they give. K. 2.303 by K into what log 100 so 75 percent complete me how much remain 25 so beta suppose this equation 1 and this equation second so on dividing equation second by first on dividing equation second by first what you will get like this this thing will cancel out T75 divided by what? 10. Yes. Okay. So 100 by 25, 4. So log of 4. Log of 4 divided by what? Beta. 100 divided by 80. Log of 1.25. Then after solving, you have to solve this all. Then after solving, you will get T75. Means. Calculate time for 75% completion of the reaction. Okay. How much it is? 62.13 minute. Okay. 62 also we can write. Then, then and then also it is correct. So these are what be the whole method for this. Such type of numericals. Okay. So in such type of numericals they will ask in CBC exam also in subjective exams also okay so they will be careful now we will discuss question number 48 so ready with this question number 48 so question number 48 calculate the half life first order reaction from rate constant to minute inverse okay half life then same means so much easy t half is equal to 0.693 they give K how much? 2 minute inverse. So answer also will come. Minute inverse. Okay. So 0 0.247. 
many t will get here answer okay then next question number 49 a first order reaction takes 40 minutes for 30 percent decomposition calculates its t half okay we will calculate so for that we need more space here so question number 49 second last question we are dealing okay see here question number yes question number 49 a first order reaction takes 40 minutes for 30 percent decomposition calculate t half so first order reaction so again your formula becomes same k is equal to what 2.303 by t into log of a divided by a minus x so 30 percent complete how much remain 70 percent so this will be 100 divided by 70 so k is equal to what 2.303 by t log of what be the 100 divided by 70 this 0 0 will cancel out and whatever your answer will come yes k is equal to 2.303 by t log of after solving this 1.42 so log 1.42 yes k is equal to 2.303 upon t log 1.42 how much 0.15 okay so t i think they gave here how much for t so you can write here Okay, and after solving this, you will get what better here? K you will get. What you will get here K, that is 8.63 into 10 raised to minus 3. Okay, how much better? K, K is equal to what? 8.63. After solving this, you will get. Okay, so here we calculate K. But then what we have to calculate? Calculate T half. So again T half is equal to what? T half is equal to 0 0.693 by K. So T half is equal to 0 0.693 divided by this K. 8.63 into 10 is to minus 3. Then your answer will come. Yes, near about 80.30 minute answer will come that is your t half okay in integer or numeral type question okay i hope you understood this all now we are dealing with question number 50 last question of this today's paper major test question number 50 okay the reaction is of first order in reactant a and second order in reactant b so rate is equal to k concentration of a a is what first order and second order in reactant b means as like this how is the rate of reaction affected when the concentration of b alone is increased three times so beta rate is equal to k concentration of a so here what 3 b square so what will come 3 square 9 so rate will increase how much nine times so your answer is what nine okay these are what overall your integer type question okay i hope you understood all this if still if you have any query regarding today's paper then you can uh, whatever your doubts you send on whatsapp okay so thank you very much so stay safe stay home and take care thank you